Well, guys, I got mixed news. Look at that, man. That looks like it'd be a pretty good sized house, that old ferry boat. That thing's huge. Howdy, YouTube. You can see the stairs that go up to the top here. And there's a bunch of benches to look out over here. So the bad news is I had a health concern pop back up that I thought I was pretty much over. At least I didn't suffer any symptoms from for a long time, but just last night, out of the damn blue, man, I hadn't even been having any trouble at all, and then out of the blue, it's just back to like from zero to a hundred. I'm back to like shuffling, trying to figure out where I'm gonna get help for this because in the West, all they really want to do is surgery. And uh, I got some new flip flops. What do you think, guys? It's funny, I just bought them because they're green. They got like a Brazilian theme. Anybody out there? Know what Ordemi Progresso means? Not too hard to guess for you intelligent viewers. But that's the story of my life right now. Order in progress. That's what I'm after. In all things, this health concern, this thing in my hand, which is getting all my productivity and everything I want to achieve in line, with everything, man, with my relationships, everything, order and progress, onward and upward, just like this path. So that's the bad thing, but the silver lining to the health concern coming back is I get to go to India. I get to go to India, I get to go to India. I mean, I knew I was gonna go, but I'm doing it sooner than anticipated, like really soon. Like I already booked a flight today. <laughs> You can see where we just climbed from. Here's this cat that's always here. You saw her in the last video getting picked up from some people and stuff. But there's where we were. <laughs> I'm going to India sooner than expected. I knew I was gonna go, but now it's gonna be like really fast. Let me see. Uh, something like seven weeks away so very 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 excited about that it's funny because I went to this Indian restaurant today it was so good I was sitting there eating this really good Indian food while I uh, was booking my ticket I wasn't gonna shoot video of this meal but I gotta tell you guys this is probably the best chicken I've ever had this is so juicy I got a spicy one and a non spicy one that's all I'm eating I'm back to the meat thing because of the health trouble I'm having. And while I sit here and eat this, I'm actually booking a flight to India. So I'm very excited about the trip. I'm gonna go to a health center there for one of the months that I'm in India. I'm flying on January 20th, and I'm flying back here on the 4th of July to spend my last month. So I'm gonna be here two months. I'm already, mm, I guess a week, almost a week and a half into it. So I got something like six and a half more weeks here in this beautiful location. I get to spend that time. I'm flying to Mumbai, see a friend of mine. He's gonna help me kind of figure out an itinerary for India. And then in May, I'm gonna go to that health center for a full month. Then I got even one more month in India after that. I got the month of June. And then on 4th of July, I fly back here for one month. That's gonna be durian season. So hopefully I get everything in line with the food, with the diet, because this condition I'm suffering from is definitely probably related to what I eat. And a lot of people may see, well, you're eating all this meat now, like, don't you think that's the problem? Why don't you go back to a vegetarian diet? Well, the funny thing is, I do even better when I get to just completely meat. Like that meal you saw me eat at the Indian place I just showed you. That to me is like pushing the starch to the max that I'm feeling comfortable going right now. I was just eating like purely meat before I came here and that pretty much resolved the condition. That's why I thought I was in the safe zone. I was just gonna take my time and go to India later on, but then I started eating all this other stuff. Started eating the recreational stuff again, the starch, the sugar, all that. And I guess it wreaked havoc on me until I can get to this health center. They have a whole program to heal the issue 
I'm suffering from holistically, including diet. They go in with you, make a whole nutritional plan based on Ayurvedic medicine, which I have some faith in, at least more than Western medicine. So we'll see what they do about it. Western medicine just says, cut, surgery, that's it. And I've looked into that. I've looked into the pricing and everything. I got quotes. I know how much it would cost. It's not the money. I just don't want to do it. So anyway, enough about that. Good news is India in seven weeks. Bad news is I'm in pain and I got to get over this on my own until I can go figure it out there. And even though I'm not going to the center till May, that means that, that they don't have a room for me until May. I could go sooner and just kind of, you know, stay somewhere nearby and go have visits there and see what they think and stuff. So that'll be good. Anyway, that's the update. See you next time, YouTube.